Block V Virginia class submarines is getting some extensive upgrades. Russia and China should take notice. Designed for use in both the open ocean and for littoral missions, which include anti-submarine warfare, ASW, and intelligence gathering operations, the US The Navy's Virginia-class nuclear-powered cruise missile fast attack submarines SSNs, were developed to replace the more expensive Seawolf-class while still providing a capable boat to address nautical threats from near-peer adversaries in the 21st century. The Virginia-class sub's combination of stealth, endurance, mobility and firepower has enabled the vessels to support five of the U.S. Navy's six maritime strategy core capabilities including sea control, power projection, forward presence, maritime security and deterrence. The SSNs have a fly-by-wire ship control system that also provides improved shallow water ship handling. While this class of subs was designed to deploy special operator forces including Navy SEALs. A reconfigurable torpedo room can accommodate a large number of SOF and all their equipment for prolonged deployments and future off-board payloads. To date, 19 of the planned 66 Virginia-class submarines have been completed, while 11 more are now under construction. 10 of those are from the Block 4, while one is from the latest Block V, and that latter boat will feature key improvements that enhance the capabilities of the fast attack subs. All of the Block V submarines will be equipped with acoustic superiority improvements, which the Navy has seen as crucial to maintaining design superiority over Russian and Chinese submarines. The overall design will differ from the Block 4 boats by approximately 20%, according to a Congressional Research Service CRS, report. The Block V submarines are larger than the previous versions, with the length increased from 377 feet to 460 feet, and with greater displacement from 7,800 tons to 10,200 tons. As a result, the Block V versions of the Virginia class are the second largest U.S. submarines produced behind only the Ohio class. This added 83-foot section is to increase the number of missile launch tubes, increasing the number from 12 to 40, which in essence could triple the capacity of short targets for each boat. As part of the Virginia Payload Module VPM, this extended mid-body section can be used to store and fire additional Tomahawk cruise missiles and other payloads, including large diameter unmanned underwater vehicles UVs. It also increased the number of torpedo-sized weapons carried by each submarine from about 37 to about 65, an increase of 76%. While this has greatly increased the estimated recurring unit procurement costs of the Block V boats to roughly $3.4 billion, it comes with those numerous improvements and upgrades, and these latest subs could serve well into the 2070s and beyond. The CRS report noted, building Virginia-class boats with the VPM is intended to compensate for a sharp loss in submarine force weapon carrying capacity that will occur with the retirement in FY 2026-FY 2028 of the Navy's four Ohio-class cruise missile-slash-special operations forces support submarines SSGNs. Each SSGN is equipped with 24 large diameter vertical launch tubes of which 22 can be used to carry up to 7 Tomahawks each, for a maximum of 154 vertically launched Tomahawks per boat, or 616 vertically launched Tomahawks for the four boats. 22 Virginia-class boats built with VPMs could carry 616 Tomahawks in their VPMs. Construction of the 10 Block V subs was scheduled to begin in 2019 but was pushed back to 2020. Contract delivery of the first Block V submarine is FI 2025. The Virginia class submarine is already heavily armed. Each boat can carry up to 37 torpedo sized weapons, such as Tomahawk cruise missiles. Twelve of these slots are in two vertical launch systems, VLS, known as the Virginia Payload Tubes. The new Block V-5 batch of submarines will have 28 more slots in its VLS. 
This is an increase of 76% of torpedo-sized weapons. The US Navy is planning to build between 72 to 78 new attack submarines. Ten of these will be the Virginia Block V boats, eight of which will be up-armed as described here. Based on a recent briefing document from the Congressional Research Service, reported in U.S. Naval Institute News, a total of 31 Virginia-class submarines will ultimately have this fit. When it was originally conceived the Virginia class was seen as a cheaper alternative to the larger Sea Wolf class. The Sea Wolf had been designed during the Cold War to counter the latest Russian submarines. But the Russian types were mostly cancelled, or massively delayed, in the post-Cold War period. Therefore only three of the expensive Sea Wolves were eventually built. Yet while the Virginia class was smaller than the Sea Wolf, it took advantage of new technologies and itself became a world-leading nuclear-powered attack submarine. More potent still, although unconfirmed, are likely to be new hypersonic boost glide vehicles. It is unclear how many will be carried in each VLS but a reasonable guess is three rounds. Because the Block Versus have more VLS slots it seems natural that they will be among the first submarines to carry the hypersonic missiles. With a total of six VLS tubes they could carry a mixed load of, perhaps, 12 hypersonic missiles, three in each of the aft four tubes, and 12 tomahawks in the forward tubes. The submarines will still have the regular torpedo room, weapons stowage compartment. This can carry the latest versions of the ADCAP, advanced capability, family of heavyweight torpedoes. They are also likely to carry the new hammerhead mine which will replace the legacy MK.47 submarine launched mobile mine, SLMM. Hammerhead will allow covert deployment of bottom mines. Although less glamorous than missiles this is a particularly powerful capability. The US Navy is also developing a new clandestine delivered mine which will blend technologies from underwater drones with regular bottom mines. This will allow much greater standoff ranges when sowing minefields, thus improving both survivability and operational flexibility.